Hello friends, this is the Smart Excel again, and this video is about OR function. So it's similar like AND. Now I'm going to make this into an OR. So I'll be showing you how to use OR and like in simple query in simple Excel with power tables, OR query and power pivots. So the same the same table has been redesigned. So here it is like the brand is A and the size is L. Then I'm going to buy it or else I will not be buying it. So it wasn't for and now it's going to be for or. So <clears throat> let's convert this into a table first. So I can do a control T T for Taiwan my table. So I'll give a name as P Q underscore p p v so this is for power query as in power pivots so I hit enter so my table is ready so we don't have any uh, queries and now let's start with the normal excel table so equal to and uh, sorry equal to or brand is equals to i'll be opening a double quotes for letters so please refer to my previous video on and and i hadn't made a calculation mathematical calculation but this is purely on text so this or function is purely on text comma so logical two is like size size equals to double quotes and l if you want i can just hit over here also so I don't want to type this, we can just select this, but let me type this. So and close the parenthesis. Uh, parenthesis. Is it true, true, false, true, true, false? So either A or L. So A means true. So let's give this uh, some meaning with this condition. If open parenthesis and here logical value to add the comma. So if it is true, I will buy this. Table quotes and don't buy. And close the parenthesis and hit enter. So it's coming like buy if it is A, buy if it is L, buy A or L, A or L. So if there is no A or L, don't buy. So A, buy L, buy. So if you have both also, A and L, it will be buy. So same thing I'll be showing you how to do in Power Query. So let's take this table into power query by data and from table and range. So already I have a table. So you should always create a table in the beginning. So this table is ready. So from table to range when I click the selector. So now the table is gone to power, uh, power query window. And if you want, you can change this into a percentage. It doesn't really require, but still always keeps keep your things neat and tidy in the, the right so the formulas may not give errors so it was like brand should be and size should be l so how to write is go to add uh, now we can't write here because it's not if then else it's and function is there so we have to put this custom column and I'll be typing this as PQ for power query. So the logic is actually if then else. So this is the logic. So how it is like if let me remove this if brand equals to A. I need to write this into a double quotes for because the text. Now I'll be writing an OR. So it's an OR function. Size should be an L. Size equals to double quotes L. Double quotes capital L. Then double quotes by this. So it is like if then else. 
dot by dot by dot plus. Let me put an apostrophe over here. Dot by. So you can see no syntax error has been detected. So if you say okay, now you can see by by dot by by. So it's same like. It's answer the same like our normal Excel formula. So now let's take this into data manage sorry data DM data model or power pivot. So I'll be previous video I didn't take into the data models. Please refer to my previous video on and function. So in this video I'll be taking into data model. So here we go. And now I have to select this for data model. Uh oh okay okay fine so i want to create corrections but add this to data model so i don't want to do it manually and go to power pivot so automatically add to data model so creating a relationship so now let's go to data model that is power pivot and that's already added so manage so you can see this is to do normal excel and this is power query now we'll be doing data model or power pivots so the functions will be the same this equals to or open the parenthesis brand equals to sorry, equals to double quotes caps of a Double quotes, comma. The logical to is size. So let's click on size. When C select automatically, it will select the column name. Equals to double quotes. Flop L. Again, double quotes. Then closing the parenthesis. And you can see only two logical functions are open. okay with that. Power pivots. So true, false, true, false. So let's give this a meaning. So it will be like if open parenthesis. This is a logical test. It is true by P U by double quotes. Else D O in apostrophe don't. By close the parenthesis and hit enter. So now you can compare three by 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 one by one by one by 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 one by one by one by one by one by one by by by. So formula the working same up to date exact. For normal Excel with tables, with Power Query, and it is for Power Pivot. So, if you want to add measures, you can directly go and after you create a pivot table, you can add measures, or you can add measures from from here also. You can add measures if you have something to add. But if you now you directly see you don't have anything, but when you make a total. But this cannot get done in the total. So if if you want to make this sum, so it's an error, it's giving an error because this doesn't carry a sum. But if it has some mathematical calculations that which have numerical values, it will be a sum. So so there is no point in making measures over here because we are totally uh, purely based on text. So I showed you. So this is not the formula, but here I showed you how to use double quotes and how to get the formulas for normal Excel, Power Query, and Power Pivots. And uh, I'll be closing. I don't want. To, I don't need to save if it is in Power Pivot. So if I save or no, it doesn't really matter. Automatically it will be saved. So this is that was Power Pivot data model, and this this is this is through. Power Query. 
So if you want to go back, you can go back and if you want to do anything else, you can change. And if you want, you can click the options button and you can check the form box. If brand is equals to A. So this is how we use in Power Query. Or if you want, you can go to advanced editor and you can check the ports. So uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you got the techniques. So this is the second video. First, first was an and and uh, I made some differences. I didn't load data model that time. Now I loaded to data, data model and I showed you how to do in three points and measure size not possible. So this is in simple X, uh, normal X with tables, the formulas. So try keep practicing this. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. Please hit the bell icon and uh, please give me your valuable comments. And I hope this video is very useful because and and or function videos are very, 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 it's very easy. But in when you do in Power Query, it's a bit tricky. So if then else is the logic, please remember that if then else. And uh, I hope you share this video so many people can understand the benefits of using Power Queries, Power Pivots, and normal data, uh, normal Excel formulas without confusing. Uh, so let's see you in the next video and keep sharing and keep watching this smart excel thank you